hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on my channel welcome today i'm going to show you how to make three types of ice cream with only three ingredients and you do not need any ice cream machine to make this ice cream if you are like me or you have kids that love ice cream so much let me show you how you can make this delicious ice cream at home so that you and your family can enjoy it to make this delicious ice cream you will need cold heavy whipping cream condensed milk vanilla strawberry puree and butterscotch sauce this is a quick way to make butterscotch sauce microwave the chips and butter for 45 seconds and vigorously mix till everything is completely dissolved butterscotch is different from caramel you could make it from scratch but this is a quick way to make it or if you don't know how to make it this is an easy way to make the sauce so if you are new to my channel please click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever i post a video thank you and god bless you when completely dissolved add hot or warm water and mix as you can see it, it is looking more syrupy this is how you make your butterscotch sauce without making it from scratch and it takes less than two minutes you are done see don't worry i'm going to leave the list of the ingredients and the measurements in the description box to start the base of the ice cream i'm going to pour the heavy whipping cream into a bowl and start whisking the heavy whipping cream should be cold and i also like to chill the condensed milk i'm going to whip it until it forms a stiffer consistency and has doubled in size be careful not to overbeat it let me use this opportunity to shout out to all those that have subscribed you guys are the best you guys are amazing i love you thank you and god bless you as you can see the cream has doubled in size and it looks stiffer very soon i'm gonna add the condensed milk as you can see it is really very stiff it's time to add the condensed milk and any other flavor you want to add so i'm gonna fold it in you can beat it if you want i like to fold it in again if you are new to my channel and this is the first time you are seeing my video or you have been watching my videos and you are not yet subscribed please click the subscribe button like and share the video and do not forget to turn on your notification bell that is the only way you can get an alert whenever i post a video thank you now that it's properly combined i'm going to split it into three equal portions i'm starting with the strawberry the puree how to make strawberry puree just blend strawberry you could add sugar if you want that's how simple it is to make a strawberry puree so when it is properly combined i'm going to transfer it into a container and let it freeze for at least six hours but if you like chunky strawberry in your ice cream you can just rough blend it this is the vanilla version just add a tablespoon of vanilla and just mix together the vanilla flavor is actually the easiest so maybe that's why they describe people that like simple things as vanilla i love vanilla vanilla is my favorite flavor when i'm done mixing i'm gonna transfer it into a container and let it freeze for at least six hours if you are still watching i hope you have subscribed and have liked the video thank you so on to the third flavor so i'm just gonna fold it in the way i did the previous ones I already showed you how to make the butterscotch sauce i'm not gonna lie to you this flavor is the bomb it is very very delicious i know everybody has a flavor they love but if you want something extremely sweet this is your flavor same as the other flavors when i'm done combining it i'm gonna transfer it into a container and let it freeze for at least six hours
I will let mine stay overnight so that when the kids come back from school, they can enjoy it. So this is the next day. These are the toppings I'm using. You can use any topping of your choice. So this first ice cream is the butterscotch flavor. So I'm just going to scoop it. You can let it sit for at least 10, 10 to 20 minutes before you scoop it. But because I want to take pictures, I'm scooping it on time. I will be using toasted coconut flakes as topping and I'm going to also drizzle the sauce, the butterscotch sauce on the ice cream. Yum! Doesn't that look delicious? I promise you it is delicious. The next flavor is the vanilla flavor. Let it sit for at least 10 minutes before you scoop. To give this ice cream a pop, I will be using a very colorful ice cream sprinkles to bring out the personality of the ice cream so this is the last flavor as you can see it is strawberry my youngest child likes the strawberry the most so she's always requesting for strawberry ice cream i'm not gonna use any topping for this strawberry but you can use any topping of your choice i'm just gonna garnish it with a mint leaf see see how easy it is to make multiple flavors of ice cream with just one base it is actually very easy you can do it from the comfort of your home and you can choose the amount of ingredients that you want to use i promise you each flavor is very delicious so give this recipe a try i promise you will not be disappointed please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay blessed. Till I see you next time. I love you. Bye.